Christy. You want to come in? Yes. Hello, YouTube. So I've actually managed to start filming today before it has gone dark, and yes, that is ivy growing across my window. Uh, it's still later than I would have liked. It's the afternoon right now, but it would have been really boring if I started this morning because I spent the entire morning editing yesterday's vlog and then uploading the wrong file and uh, having to start again, which actually I think it might be still uploading. I should go check that. Anyway, hello again. So I came to get something from my car and I remembered something that I would like to show you in the graveyard. Sorry if that sounds a bit weird, but there's a, um, there's a gravestone in here that is really quite strange and awesome. It's this one here. Okay, branches falling. Hang on. There we go. Okay, here it is. I'm not sure if you can actually read that. Probably not. So I'll read it for you. Um, the inscription on it says, All people that do me pass by, as you are now, so once was I. But as I am, so must you be. Therefore prepare to follow me. Happy, isn't it? <laughs> Can't remember who it says it is. They were 76. And they died in 1771. Not sure who they are. That bit of then of it has uh, is broken off. But whoever they were, they had a sense of humour. It's awesome. And also quite creepy. You know, people always say that it's weird living right next to a graveyard. And I'd say that's probably true, but I don't really notice it anymore. In fact, I didn't really when we moved in. So look, there's my house. And there's my church. You know, I think it might actually be the church. I'm not religious, but I think that the fact that it's a place that people go to regularly, rather than just a home for dead people. I think, I think that might be what makes it less creepy. More okay. I don't know, what are your theories? Do you find it creepy? Like, would you never, ever, ever live next to a graveyard? Or would it be alright if there was a church there too? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> it is the last day of Christmas, so time to take down the tree. Alrighty. This thing is going to be bald by the time I've removed the baubles, let alone the tinsel or anything. And then we put on the tree toupee. <laughs> oh my god. Ow. Oh, pine needle in the finger! <laughs> you just reminded me I had this nightmare last night. Yeah. Where I had a giant twig yeah. <laughs> in my finger, like a splinter. A what? Ooh, that doesn't sound comfy. They're just falling off. Wait, what happened? How did you get it out? I just pulled it out. Ah. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think that a good chunk of the pine needles are going to come off when I actually pull the tinsel. Oh, that's not too bad. What about this one? <laughs> it's crazy how it just crumbles away. Okay, this is the fun bit. Where I get to destroy it in little pieces, which is kind of ironic considering I actually love Christmas trees. I got a pine needle in my eye. <laughs> the poor tree. That is the last piece. Yeah. It is done. What I like about the alternative tree. <laughs> For a minimalist you Christmas. Say, oh, well, you you Ready? Pine needles on the fire. Whoa. 